Hey, Dr. Johnson. Gene, how, how are you? you? Hey, good to see you. You know, I was thinking, I have a patient with a six centimeter ameloblastoma in his mandible. I'm gonna have to resect the tumor and reconstruct with iliac graft. Um, what patient-specific options do you recommend? Good question, and as always, we have a few options, but there's probably one for that scenario I'll definitely recommend. It's our new 3D printed uh, mandibular graft containment cage. Mm -hmm. um, not only is it a plate component to it, there's also a graft cage that you can pack graft into. Um, and as always, we can actually 3D print the plate and customize the screw placement along um, to avoid any areas, nerve roots, whatever it may be. As always, like I said, we can do our cutting guides also once we hop on the planning session. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, that sounds good. So, so what's the process like? So as always, first we're gonna need a CT scan. Um, we're gonna have to have in one millimeter slice sicknesses or less. I can uh, pick that scan up directly, um, or you can have your team upload it um, via the link that I provide you. Once we do have the DICOM images, we'll have to confirm that it's good to go. A materialized engineer will then send you an email asking for a time and date to plan that case. We'll hop on a planning session. Um, we'll look at the actual coronal and sagittal slices. You can mark out your osteotomies, design the plate. We could talk about potentially any cutting guides, any models, whatever else you may need, um, and go from there. All right, that sounds good. I actually have a CT scan for the patient already, so could we do this maybe Wednesday, 7 a.m.? So that works for me. I'll confirm with our engineer, get back to you, and we'll move on. All right, thanks as always, sir. Thanks, sir. Talk to you soon. Good day. Bye. So you have a perfected contour there. Uh, between the two segments. Does that look okay or do you want to make any changes to that design? That looks really good from below. Can you show me the right side? Yep, let me rotate that around. I'm a little concerned about how close it is to the mental foramen. What are our options in that area? Yeah, we can trim that down. Um, would you want to remove that screw and, and move it to a different position? Yeah, could we move it closer to the midline? Yeah, no problem. We can stagger that and just kind of move it up um, and still avoid the tooth roots there. No problem. Perfect. All right, so we'll go ahead and make that design change. Uh, the report you see for approval will have that in there. So just take a look and make sure that revision looks okay. Um, and once we have your approval, we'll proceed with manufacturing and shipment from there. Sounds good, thank you. All right, thanks, Dr. Johnson.